Hey, it's Bluebird. I'm a Canadian distiller making spirits in England. If you're interested in distilling or the drinks industry, then this is the channel to subscribe to. Today, I'm with my boss, Adam Colton, the distillery manager here at Boost Town Gin. What are we doing in today's video, Adam? So today we'll be making our Boost Town Strawberry Gin and we're using our copper still called Tessie and we'll be using the single pot distillation method. So let's go. Oh god. Oh my god. What did you do, Adam? <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was my first time trying that. Uh, I think I better try that again quick. Hello there and welcome to Boothstown Gin in Manchester. This new distillery is special in that it is located inside of a pub. In this video we're making the Boothstown Strawberry Gin. And you might notice that the still here looks a lot like the one I used in the distillery in Wales. That's because both stills were produced by the same company, the craft distilling business. Anywho, in this video we'll be making Boothstown Gin's Strawberry Gin. Here Adam, the distillery manager, is upstairs in the distillery room, weighing out the ingredients for the strawberry gin. We have cloves, angelica root, cardamom seeds, licorice root, crushed cassia bark, lemon peel, orange peel, coriander seeds, juniper berries, and strawberry tea bags. We'll also put in some strawberry essence and a natural red food coloring afterwards. We're only making a 25 liter batch today, so the amount of botanicals we're using is very little. After we've put that in our muslin bag, we'll take our spirit and botanicals downstairs to Tessie, the still. Adam told me that they charged their still with 37.5% ABV vodka, which they buy in by the bottle. But anywho, after we've charged the still with 25 liters of vodka and put in our botanical bags, Adam will put the glass piece over top and tighten the ring around it with his hands. He'll further tighten it with this device here. After that's done, he'll go around to the back of the bar and flick the switch on to turn on the still. Now it's all on, and we'll just wait for it to heat up. While we're waiting, I want to discuss this moonshine still called Tessie a little bit more. You'll notice that it has a thumper or doubler here. So the doubler or thumper doesn't have a heating element in it. Some people call it a parasitic boiler, in that like a parasite, it feeds off the main boiler here. When we turn the still on, the heat causes the liquid to boil. The vapors rise up and then they have to go through this onion here and the change in pressure will cause the heavier vapors to drop back down. The rest of the vapors will rise up and go through all this piping before making it into the thumper. That's a long way to travel and so when we just turn on the still first thing in the morning, all this pipe work is still cold. So the vapors, when making contact with this cold pipework, will cool down and condense back into a liquid. So the thumper will fill with the condensed liquid and gradually heat up until eventually it's hot enough that you essentially have another mini distillation occurring in the thumper keg. The liquid in the thumper keg will boil and the vapor will travel up through these pipes, go through the condenser, which has cooling water running through it. After 30 minutes, the spirit starts coming out here and we'll collect it in this bucket. You can see on the top there's a hydrometer bobbing inside so you can get a rough idea of the percent ABB. We take 50 milliliters per liter for our heads cut. So since we charge the still with 25 liters of vodka, we'll take 1.25 liters for the heads cut, which will be used to make sanitizer. Spirit may also splash out of the top, so that's why the top is also fitted with a glass dome. The distillation took about an hour and a half to finish, 
and Adam ran it until the spirit being collected had a percentage ABV of about 28%. Then, at that time, he turned everything off. Then he loosened the ring on the glass covering to allow steam to escape and let the still cool down. So in total, we collected 12 liters of spirit at 68% ABV. After a few hours, Adam will take out the botanical bags and open this valve which feeds directly into the drain below. Then he'll also open the valve underneath the thumper keg and you can see the liquid coming out here. About half a liter. We'll take the gin back up to the distillery room and Adam will add water to dilute the gin back to 40% ABV. And he added about 8 liters of water to bring the total volume of gin to 20 liters. Now they use the single shot distillation method here, which means they just add water to cut the gin down to the desired percentage ABV. This is different from the multi-shot distillation process where both 96% neutral grain spirit and water were added to the distillate afterwards. As well, in the multi-shot process, a flavor concentrate is distilled. And I say flavor concentrate since this process uses a much higher amount of botanicals. So the distillate collected has a very concentrated flavor. Some people argue that the multi-shot production process produces an inferior gin since you're adding 96% NGS straight into the final product. If you've ever tasted 96% NGS by itself, you'll know that it is quite a harsh taste. So by putting it directly into the final product, you'll get a gin that's arguably harsher on the palate. People who use the multi-shot process say that it's just a faster and more convenient way to produce a greater volume of gin, which is true. If you distill a concentrate, you're saving time, power, and energy versus if you were to distill using the single shot method. I made another video about the multi-shot distillation process using this same type of still. So I've linked that video above and put it in the description below if you're interested. Back to our strawberry gin now. Adam will now add a few drops of this natural red food coloring to give it a pink tint and also a few drops of some natural strawberry flavor essence. Then we'll bottle it with this device, which runs based on a timer. So you can set the filling time, which for this strawberry gin is usually 4.07 seconds to fill a 50 milliliter mini bottle. Then there's a wait time of one second, so you can move the filler head to the next bottle before it starts filling for 4.07 seconds, and so on. Then we'll bottle and label these miniature bottles and they're ready to go. Okay everyone, that was our video of the Boost Town Strawberry Gin. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more distilling and distillery videos. This is Brubert. And I'm Adam. Sending good vibes your way. We'll see you next time. Okay. You can tell I did well at drama in school, can't you? <laughs> I never took drama. <laughs>